couple rules that we need to follow with this, all right? The first rule is remember that if we have b to the n, I'm sorry, b to the 1 over n, that's equal to the nth root of b. Sometimes we can write b to the first power. The next one is if I have b to the m over n, that's equal to m, I'm sorry, the nth root of b to the m power. Okay. The next one is the power of product rule. Remember the power of product rule says a times b raised to the m equals a to the m times b to the m. So those are your kind of three properties that we're going to apply here. All right. So the first property is let's apply O. I'm sorry. That's the power to the product rule. We're not dealing with the power to the product rule. We're actually going to be dealing with the product rule of radicals. My apologies. The square root of a times b is equal to the, or sorry, the root of a times the root of b. Sorry, that's the rule we're going to use. So here I can break this up into the fifth root of 2 times the fifth root of a to the 10th times the fifth root of b. OK? Then they want us to write it into rational form. So the fifth root of b is the same thing as 2 to the 1 fifth root, or sorry, to the 1 fifth power. Here, I'm going to have a to the 10 over 5 power. And here, I'll have b to the 1 fifth power. Then the only thing I can do to simplify this is 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I can say a to the 1 fifth, a squared, b to the 1 fifth. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Huh? Yeah, I think 2 to the 1 fifth would make sense, right? Thank you. <laughs> You're so funny.